All right, Shalom Amakim. Before I get started, I want to give all praises, honor, and the glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harakakwadash. And of course, as always, double honors to our apostles and our elders that rule well at Great Millstone. Salutations to all you sincere Akim, preaching this word in all truth and sincerity. This is 2nd Ezra, chapter 8, verse 3, and it reads, There be many created, but few shall be saved. You look at the world today, and there's billions of people on this planet. Okay? Billions. They say there's what? Eight, like eight billion people that are, that are actually documented. So, when you consider those numbers, how many more people are un, you know, undocumented? Especially here in Babylon, you know, which is a great melting pot. You got a lot of people here that are illegal immigrants. Okay, with no papers. They come here, they have children, which, you know, if they don't got no papers, you know, if they're uh, living uh, under the radar, so to speak, what about their children? Okay, a lot of their children are undocumented. So the whole 8 billion on the earth uh, isn't necessarily accurate. You know, there's got to be more than that. But when you consider that great uh, multitude of people, you know, the majority of those people are going to die, man. Okay? We understand this. All right, there be many created, but few shall be saved. Okay, and then when you look at Babylon the Great, America, all right, which is the, uh, which is the main target, okay, the sinful kingdom, in which the Heavenly Father, whom you call God, whose true name is Yahweh, which means He exists, and His only begotten Son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, whose true name is Yahweh Shai, you know, when you consider their will, their prophecy, what's going to happen, okay, the main, one of the main targets, well, the main target is America. Is Esau Edom, who is a so-called white man. And then two-thirds of our people. So when you look at America, America's got at least like half a billion uh, people. You know, well, the majority of those people, you know, that are here in America, on the soils of America, are going to die. Okay, the only ones that are going to be saved is the elect, the one-third of you Israelites that are here in America. All right, and you Israelites are you so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans. You see, now there's many Israelites created. All right, when you consider the whole populace of the planet Earth, there's billions of people. Okay. So when you look at the Israelites, there's got to be hundreds of millions, if not, you know, over a billion. But those of you here in America are going to die. Okay, Israelites that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth that are not with you, Hawabashim, uh spirit are going to die. Okay. Now... I was reading this in 2 Corinthians 5 and 11. Knowing therefore the terror of Yahweh Bashem Shai, we persuade men. We understand that the Lord judges in the earth. All right, the Lord kills and makes life. The Lord created good and evil. He executes good and evil. Okay, he brings about life and death. Okay. So we know the terrors of the Lord. 
the Lord is going to destroy America by nuclear missiles and lasers from the so-called UFOs, which are the chariots of Israel. He's going to give his men spiritual power to unleash holy hell on the children of disobedience and the sons of perdition. Okay, the two-thirds of our people and you Edomites and you other nations. So we knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. And when you look at the word persuade in the Greek is uh, pytho. And the word pytho means to, to um, it pretty much means to convince somebody, to have them believe, okay, to win somebody. And we win you over by preaching this word. By telling you that the Lord isn't just some pushover. He is going to judge. Okay. Knowing therefore the terror of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. We persuade men. But we are made manifest unto Yahweh. And I trust also are made manifest in your consciousness. See. So we're, we're, we're here set up to teach you these things. And to have you believe through preaching this word so that you don't die in your sins and you repent of your sins so that you can be saved because there's many created but few shall be saved all right so you know take heed to the spirit take heed to Yahweh Shai's word because he's only going to save the elect two-thirds of our people are going to die okay uh uh these other nations that are here in America are going to die all right. Whoever scattered throughout the four corners of the earth outside of America, that's a heathen. Okay, is going to be saved for slavery if they don't die. All right, but if you're here in America and you're not part of the elect, you're going to die. So repent and get right with Yahweh Bashem Shai. If not, die. So with that, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Shai, Bashem Arkakadash, and of course, as always, double honors to our apostles and our elders that rule well. A great millstone. Shalom.